thing, all right? We're going to let him score his whole quarter, all right? Yeah? Am I right? Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 All right, let's roll! Roll! Yeah. Yeah. Young Rock again. Let's go. Go. It's obviously a bit different from Melbourne. Um, it's quite a big Indigenous group out here, as you may know, and um, we've had some amazing opportunities to go to places like Newcastle Waters, where we ended up having to go through water to actually get to the school. Like we had to actually drive through water and um, flood water. So, and then whenever the flood kind of comes through in the wet season, when it's just started, um, it's not always easy to get to the school. So you got you know a little tin boat you have to get in to get over to the school. So some of these places we're actually going is um, kind of the northernmost part of our territory in Barkley and. Uh, for us to go all the way out there and see these people who, I think there's maybe 15 kids at the school and um, all 100% of them actually showed up for the day that we came. So it's not something where, um, you know, we come up here and we don't see a few people or whatever it is. It's everyone kind of shows up for um, us to come up. And, you know, it's one of the things, I guess, whenever we come up, it just means so much to us to see them and how much they care about it and just, you know, have a smile on our face. And I was just watching Brad Gosh try to kick, you know, show a kid how to do the drop punt the other day and trying to kick it into a basketball hoop. And even whenever we left, he was still having a go at it. And it was just kind of this amazing kind of experience where everyone's so happy and so giving and willing to, to have us there. And, um, yeah, it's just a really amazing experience. Point to the camera. Kick it to me. Kick it, kick it back. Kick it back. You mess with my hair. Yeah, Pretty cool. To play footy up here, you have to um, actually have 80% attendance at school. So, uh, like Newcastle Waters had 100% whenever we came. Um, and I know Tennant Creek had an amazing uh, group of kids. There's plenty of them running around. And uh, there's a lot more, they say, whenever the football players show up. Um, and it just shows how much AFL is ingrained in the community out here. It's not easy to get out here, but, you know, to see the kids and how happy they are to see us, you know, it definitely makes it worth it. Oh. I've never pictured myself in a place like Tennant Creek or Elliot, I'll tell you that, but I love a bit of travel and I love seeing the country. And uh, myself, I've, I've been a lot more places than most Australians actually have here. So uh, whenever there's an adventure that kind of comes up, whether it be, you know, completely different or even down the road in Melbourne, I'm always up for it, you know. And, uh, this experience for myself has just been amazing and the people I've met along the way and the experiences we've had just being around these towns, it's, um, it's something I'll never forget in my lifetime, that's for sure. I think a lot of people are quite ignorant to things that are going on around this area. Myself, I'll, I'll admit, I was quite ignorant too. I mean, coming from a different country is not really a good excuse, to be honest. And those people have grown up in Australia their whole life and have never, you know, seen something and don't really understand the stories that come from around here. And whenever you actually come here and you hear firsthand something that's happened to someone, you realize, oh my gosh, like, how is this not, you know, headline news? Or how is this not something that people like, are genuinely worried about back home? And uh, maybe it does take people to come out here. Maybe it does take people to see it firsthand for you to understand, you know, how intense it is out here and how the culture is and how, how people live. Like, it's, it's not something easy. Like, I, I can't imagine having to go through some of the struggles that some of these people we've, we've talked to have had to go through. And uh, if it means having to hear the story firsthand, then, yeah, come out here. Like, come see it. You know, come back, give back to the community. It's not a hard thing. And um, I guarantee you, you'll get way more out of it than you ever think. Yeah.